All right then, my friends, so I've now shown you how to get documents, whether that's a full collection or single documents, how to add documents, and also how to delete documents. Next up, I'd like to show you how to update properties on an individual document. So to get us started, I've already created a bit of HTML at the bottom, and this is just another form, this time with a class of update. We have a label for the ID field right here. So the name of this field is ID because I want a user to enter in the ID of a book that we want to update. And then we have a button to submit the form. Now I've already attached an event listener to that form at the bottom down here. So we grab the update form using the query selector and this class. Then we add the event listener, which is a submit event. We fire a function when a user submits the form and we prevent the default action. So it's in here now that we want to update a single document. So then to do this, we need to import another function. So let's go to the top and I'm going to import update doc like so. So this is the function we need to update an individual document. So down here, the first thing we need to do is get a reference to a particular document that we want to update. So we've seen this before. We have a document reference here and we also have a document reference here where we're deleting a document. So we want to get a document reference. And in fact, I'm just going to copy this line of code and paste it in right here. So we want a document reference. So we use the doc function, we pass in the database and the collection, and then we need the ID of the documents that we want a reference to. Now at the minute we're using the delete book form, but I want to use the update form instead. So update form like so. Then we want the name of the input, which is still ID. That's this thing right here. And then the value of that input. So that's our document reference. We now have that and we now need to update the doc. So update doc and we pass in the doc ref first of all. And then the second argument is an object and we can pass in any properties here that we want to update. So I could pass in the title prop like so or the title property. And we'll just say this is updated title. You could set it to be a new title. It really doesn't matter what it is. Now, ideally, we might have a form where a user types in the new title and we'd get the value from that form and we can output it dynamically here, much like we grab the value from another form field. But I don't really need to show you that. I just want to show you how to use this function right here to update the document. Now, we don't need to pass in all the different properties or fields into this update object. All it does is update the properties that we pass in. So it will leave alone the created at and also the author fields. It will only update anything that it sees inside this object. All right then, so this is asynchronous and we can tack on a then method to fire a function when this is complete. So all I want to do in here is reset the form. So update form like so, then dot reset. All right, and then invoke that. So let's give this a whirl. So then we can see this form right here to update the book. And what I want to do is update this document right here. This is the document that we have a real time subscription set up for so that when we update that document, then Firestore is going to send us back a new version of it and we're going to relog it to the console so we can see that update. So I'm going to grab this ID right here and paste inside this form. And when I click on update a book, it should update this document right here, in particular, the title property to be updated book or something like that or updated title. So let me click on this update a book function. Then we can see down here the item logged to the console again and the title is now updated title. So that worked. It updated that book for us. Simple. 